Now that we have visited actually one of the smaller wind parks in New York and have learned of how many more wind parks in development, let's take a look at solar power. My dad is an O'Connell Electric service technician and has contacted Rochester Solar Technologies, a division of O'Connell Electric, who have proceeded to send me information about utilizing solar energy. Founded in 1911, O'Connell Electric Company Incorporated is a leading regional electrical contractor serving the diverse electrical needs of a wide range of clients including the renewable energy sector. Why does O'Connell Electric support solar technology? Well it's because it helps stabilize utility rates, offers a diverse utility grid, offers a reduction in carbon emissions while producing clean power generation. In solar technology, there is no moving parts, low maintenance, and a 25-year power output warranty on solar modules. This is a picture of Google's corporate headquarters with its 9,212 solar panels. 2006 saw a 19% growth rate in the manufacturing sector, and in 2007, solar cell production jumped 50% to almost 4,000 megawatts. Rochester Solar Technologies works on LEED certified buildings, residential solar, commercial and educational solar, ground mounts, roof applications, pole mounts, and solar awnings. The different types of solar systems include string-based grid-connected systems, typically high-voltage DC with no batteries, battery-based grid-connected systems, the batteries are charged by the solar modules, and the batteries offer critical backup power during a power failure. Off-grid applications need batteries. In most cases, applications include remote cabins, sign lighting, remote water pumping, and security applications. The average cost for an installed residential system before incentives is $8 to $12 per watt. The average cost for an installed commercial system before incentives is $10 to $12 per watt. New York provides incentives and tax credits on residential and commercial solar power systems, such as New York CERTA's incentive of $4 per watt or $4,000 per kilowatt for standard residential systems, up to the first 5 kilowatts. New York CERTA also provides $4 per watt for the first 25 kilowatts on commercial solar power systems. This is an example of a 2 kilowatt residential solar system. It would take 12 solar modules. It would also require 190 square feet of rough surface area, weighing 2 to 3 pounds per square foot. It would generate 2,136 kilowatts of electric generation per year. The initial cost of this system would be $21,000, but after the New York CERTA rebate of $8,000, the New York's tax credit of $5,000, the federal tax credit of $2,000, the customer would be paying out of pocket only $6,000. So far, we have seen how profitable solar energy systems are from a service provider's point of view, but I want to know what solar energy customers think of their investment, so I visited Arden Zip, who owns a grid-connected solar system in Tully, New York. Here's Arden showing me how his solar system works. These are arranged in two sets of panels. So the two sets of panels, there are 16 uh, panels associated with this inverter and 18 panels associated with this inverter. And this particular one is generating 580 watts right now. This one is generating 635. Now, in addition to getting this information, the instantaneous uh, listing of what it's generating, we can go to a different mode on here. And look at the total amount of electricity that has been generated and that is currently at 7,706 kilowatt hours of electricity that have been generated since the panels went online at the tail end of last June. So in a little bit less than a month, we're over, or a little bit less than a year, we're over 7,600 kilowatt hours. Uh, another interesting feature here is the fact that this uh, setting here tells us that uh, that represents a savings of over a thousand dollars relative to purchasing that quantity of electricity from National Grid. And 
my wife's favorite one is this setting here, which tells us that uh, there are over five tons of carbon dioxide that are not being dumped into the atmosphere that would have been if this quantity of electricity had come from uh, a typical coal burning power plant. Uh, we have a meter on the uh, outside of the garage, uh, like your typical electric meter, except this one runs backwards. And we currently have a credit, uh, have built up a credit with National Grid of, as I recall looking at it this morning, about 3,600 or so kilowatt hours credit. Um, in the middle of March, they took what we had uh, had credited at that point and put it toward the rest of our bill because we also get natural gas from them. And uh, so it was nice to, instead of getting a bill at that point, to actually get uh, a reduction in, uh, in we had a credit still standing in the bill that just arrived this month. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, we tip, our typical electric bill is $16.70 a month, which is the base charge that they apply simply to be hooked up to the grid. And the credit that we had uh, roughly would have paid for that $16 or $16, $17 charge uh, for the time that we'd been hooked up to the grid. So uh, essentially we're paying nothing for electricity. While helping the economy steer away from imported oil and other fossil fuels, renewable energy is healthy for the environment we live in. Although 17% of New York's energy is generated by the renewable resource of hydropower, sadly less than 1% of electricity is generated by wind and solar power, which hold great potential in producing a massive amount of clean energy and thousands of new jobs. New York plans to use renewable energy to help secure our future not only economically, but also environmentally.